Another day, another car brand removal. Yes, you heard me correctly. Greenville has removed another car brand from the game. You guys may or may not know it, but here's the brand on screen. I actually had to join a public server to take a look at these vehicles because they are no longer in newer servers of Greenville. They're gone, they're removed. I will show you guys later in the video that the vehicle brand has been removed. But anyways, beside that, let's find out why the brand was removed in the first place. Alright, so basically, all this occurred because of a popular game on Roblox, which happens to be Driving Empire. A lot of drama has been occurring with the game, and I don't want to go into big detail with it, but it was regarding one of their updates. That's all I'm going to say, I'm not going to go into big detail with it, because I'm a Greenville YouTuber, not a Driving Empire YouTuber. There is actually multiple videos on this situation. What? But anyways, let's continue. There are actually multiple videos out there that explain the situation and go into big detail about what occurred and what happened. So check out those videos if you want some more information on the driving empire situation. But now let's move on to the Greenville situation. Bruh. But anyways, beside all the drama, let's find out why this brand was removed from Greenville. Alright, so a Roblox player on the Roblox platform contacted a car company, aka the car company that was removed from Greenville, basically notifying that Roblox games on the Roblox platform were using their vehicles without permission, even though all the models come from the developers themselves, because they create them. And then an assistant or employee at the company messaged back saying, thank you for this information, we will address this. And basically, the conversation ended. So basically, all of this occurred because of an email sent to this car company. And that resulted in probably Hunter getting a message from the car company asking for a removal of their vehicles. But yeah, as of now, Greenville and Driving Empire are the only games that I know of that have the brand removed due to this issue. So anyways, now let's actually move into the Greenville dealership and check out this brand. This is not a brand I'm familiar with, I don't use the car, I don't even have the car. I've never even seen the car brand in Greenville. I mean, I'm aware of the term, I just never drove this car. Alright, so if I go to filters here and we scroll down. Oh, they actually removed the brand, okay. So, in past servers, there was actually a brand called Skane, and now it looks like the brand has officially been removed from the brand category in the Greenville dealership filters. But anyways, I'll put some photos on screen basically displaying these vehicles and what they were. Basically, we only had two vehicles available in this car brand. It's not really a big issue in Greenville, as there were only two vehicles available with this car brand, but I still think a lot of people did enjoy this brand in Greenville. So, as you guys know, I do not own these vehicles in Greenville, so I did not get a refund for these vehicles. I don't know if Greenville is even doing refunds for these vehicles. Let me know in the comment section down below, did you own this car in the past and did you get a refund? Because I'd actually like to know. So yeah, some more update news, I guess you could say. I was not expecting another car brand to be removed from Greenville, but at the same time, car companies are most likely not going to allow others to use their brands without permission. So yeah, I really don't know about the future of Greenville, I don't know about the cars, because I think most likely more people are going to contact car companies and vehicles are going to be removed from games. So at this moment, I don't know the future of car games or future of Greenville. This is some weird and scary news I guess you could say, because we don't know the future of Greenville and we just don't know the future of car brands in Greenville. But yeah, that was my take and review on this situation. This is actually not even the first time this situation has occurred before so because a few months ago we actually had a lamborghini removed from the game so yeah this is i believe the second brand that has been removed from greenville but yeah let me know you guys the overall theories and predictions to the future of greenville cars because most likely car companies are going to be contacted and more brands will be removed from Greenville in the near future. And I will keep you guys updated if any other information comes out about the situation. And yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.